Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Look at all this green. It's really, really green. There's trees everywhere. We're in the forest. Um, it's Saturday. It's like 70 degrees. The breeze is blowing in up from the reservoir up the mountain. Feels great. You can hear the birds chirping. Um, just got up here a little bit ago. It's like 10, 10, 15, 10, 30. Uh, today, the plan is to get some furniture on this balcony. Um, I got it back there in the tent. Uh, I've got this nice little sectional sofa that's going to go right here. And a coffee table right there. And then over here at this bar, we'll have two stools. Uh, but I have to put all of that together. So that's what I'm about to do as soon as I get all the rest of this stuff off this balcony. And then uh, after that, um, might have some visitors. The wife and kids might come up here. Uh, and if they do, then I'll have my wife put together the furniture that goes in the tent. And I will work on the outdoor kitchen over there. Hopefully be able to get it done. Doesn't this roof look nice, man? Look at, look at that tin. So shiny. It's going to be great out here when it's raining. This couch though and it's uh it's pretty big you can see there on the patio let me turn this around let me do wide angle so there's the couch it's pretty nice the ottoman is really big but uh now you can sit down kick your feet up Soak in all this green. Okay, so let's see uh, the progress that I've gotten done so far today. So I got the sofa lounge here, which is really nice. It's, it's nice with a coffee table. And then I put these stools together, which Pretty cool stools. They look nice. They're nice and sturdy. And then that way, pardon the mess, you can sit here at this uh, little bar, eat your food, and have a few view of the forest, listen to the birds chirp. Um, I also finished up putting the eyelets on the stanchions for the tent so the tent tent's nice and tight now um you can see i put these eyelet bolts on here all the way around so the tent is uh tensioned up um, with the guy wires um i had to put one on that one there and one on that one there but now that they're nice and tight you can see how the sides of the tent and the canvas is taut, which is good because that makes the rain come off the edge and doesn't go on the sides of the tent. Um, <clears throat> so next, I think um, I'm going to put together the furniture inside the tent, most of it anyway. Um, I've got a like a credenza TV table. It's gonna go right here. And then I got a queen size bed. It's gonna go here, I gotta build a frame for that. Uh, and then I have, well, you could call this the living room set. It's a, uh, it's a love seat and uh, two chairs. And it's made out of um, acai wood, so it looks really nice. Wooden, it's sturdy. Um, this is wood with a frosted glass front, so you can keep things in there. And 
we'll store the battery in there and stuff and then that is the propane powered um, fire pit that's going to go all the way down down there on the fire deck um, so I get this together and clean up this mess and after I get that done then I'll finish putting together the, um, the outdoor kitchen which is right out there uh, this tent is pretty ventilated um, there are four vents here you can see that are always open um, so there's air always coming in and out through up there and then you can open up all of these windows which there are four of them there's also a stove jack if you could, wanted to put in a um, wood-burning stove you could put one in and keep this place nice and warm in the winter but I think I'm just gonna get a propane um, indoor heater to use uh, just so that you know we're not playing with fire all the time <laughs> especially inside a canvas tent you know it is fire retardant um, and then you know you got the screen doors here you can open up you can also unzip the whole bottom of the tent off and roll it up you see there's um, cord hangers there on all the way around you can roll it up and you, you just have the canvas on top of you and the whole bottom is open um, on a nice warm day you know you could do that and uh, get a really good breeze coming through here but for the most part we'll just leave it like this um, let's see how much I can get done So, I'm putting this, uh, the roof, the rafters, I'm only putting two. I mean, it's an eight foot span and it's just gonna have 10 on top of it. So I, I don't need one in the middle. I don't think it's gonna sag that much. Uh, and if it does, I'll add one, I'll add one. Um, so I got the first purlin on and then I got the, the front rafter and the back raft or the side rafter the other side rafter and then the back rafter so um these rafters are on this side the top of that post is seven foot six and so this is it's like seven foot right there um and then on the back uh these are these are like five foot um <clears throat> but there's going to be a countertop out this way so you won't even be able to get back to the back. So where you'll be standing should be a uh, little above six foot, which should be fine. And it gets taller as you go back. So, but anyways, I had to use two ladders, that ladder and that ladder. Um, <clears throat> and I actually had to, because these posts, they're floating on the ground. So that they're just wonky. I had to tie this rope here around that rafter, put it over my head and pull this this way while I pulled that that way uh, so it'll be trued up but it's all true it's it's within like a quarter bubble on on every single one of the posts on the top so it's good um, I finished putting these purlins up and then I think that's all that I'm doing for the day
So, there's the roof. It's going to have 10 on the top. Um, it's got five purlins on it. Two rafters. I might put one in the middle. I don't think it's going to sag. It's really not that much. Anywho, um, you can see right here, you know, I'm 5'10". So, this is like five and a half. But, there'll be a countertop right here anyway. It'll be down, down here. Um, countertop will come off and then back this way. It'll probably take up about four or five boards, so be out to about right there. So where you're standing will be right here, and this is this is about six and a half foot, so that's fine. I'll have the tent on it, and then uh, you'll have your kitchen layout right here, so you'll be able to prep your food, cook your food, and then. Don't mind the mess. I need to clean up. I say that every time. Uh, there'll be gravel and a picnic table under there with some hanging swings and hammocks and stuff so you can chill underneath there. Be a little gravel path. Uh, a gravel path to the shower house. And then I'll have the bathroom over there by that tree, I think. Path to that too. But as you can see, it's coming along. Uh, looks good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>